It goes back to Ruin Arledge's desire to have a one-hour evening newscast from 6.30 to 7.30. And the affiliates didn't just say no, they said hell no over our dead body. Uh, but Ruin was a fellow not to be denied uh, with a great sense of creativity. And he decided that what he was going to try and do was take the, the second half hour of that one-hour newscast and put it on at 11.30 at night. But there, too, uh, the affiliates were making so much money on these syndicated programs uh, on which they just, you know, since they weren't getting it from the network, they had all five and a half or six minutes worth of commercials to themselves. They might pay, depending on the size of the market, $3,000, $5,000, $10,000 for uh, uh, an old episode of MASH or whatever it was in those days, but they could make far more money than they could when they ran a network program where the network got three and a half minutes of commercial time and they only got three minutes. Hence their reluctance to give up the time period. Rune decided that what we needed was a huge story a big story with what reporters call legs. In other words, a story that just goes on and on and on and on. Uh, and we did late night specials at 11.30 when the Pope came to visit America. Pope came, Pope left, story's done. We did late night specials when Elvis died. Elvis died. Elvis is still dead, Elvis is missing, but you can only do so many programs on Elvis, and then you had to give back the 11.30 time period. Until a moment in early November of 1979 when 52 American hostages were taken at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. Uh, we didn't go on the air until, I think, the 8th of November, but Roon told us to go on, and he said, you will go on and you will tell us what has happened on this story every night at 11.30 at night, and you will tell me whatever you can come up with, whatever it is, and you will sometimes do 15 minutes, sometimes you'll do 20 minutes, sometimes you'll do half an hour. And Frank Reynolds is going to anchor it, and Sam, we're going to come to you, Sam Donaldson, at the White House for a lot of stuff, and Ted, we're going to need you to stay late because we need a lot of stuff from the from the State Department, and we were lucky enough to uh, have a guy who was in Tehran at the time that the hostage crisis happened. He was a radio reporter, but briefly he enjoyed some prominence on, on television. Uh, and so we did that night after night after night. What I didn't know until quite literally a few days ago when I was talking to David Burke, who was senior vice president of ABC News. David Burke had been a, uh, a senior advisor to Teddy Kennedy in the Senate and has a really good political nose, very smart guy. He and Rune Arledge were summoned over to uh, the offices of Leonard Goldenson, who was the founder of ABC. And when they got there, Leonard was there, and Fred Pierce, who was the president of the television network, was there. A couple of other people were there. And at one point, Leonard said to David, David, you know Washington better than any of us. How long can this go on before the president has to take action? And David said, certainly not more than four weeks. Okay, said Leonard, go ahead. You can do this late night program until the hostage crisis is over. And as David tells the story, he and Rune went down to their town car that was waiting for them. And as they were driving back, Rune started singing, give them the old razzle dazzle razzle dazzle them and then david started singing razzle dazzle them so they had razzled and dazzled their way into a program that would last only until the crisis was over 
They took out an ad the next morning in the New York Times, or the day after that in the New York Times and the Washington Post, saying, ABC News will stay on the air with America held hostage until the hostages are released, which, as it turned out, was 444 days after they were captured, by which time that interim program that ABC News put on at 11.30 at night had evolved into ABC News Nightline a permanent program, which, as we now speak, has lasted almost 26 years.